I've made this video last week. I'm gonna make this video again. Maybe I'll say something different and I'll get through to everybody. The video is people keep still DMing me and I'm not, I'm not mad. Like I, I like getting DMs, I like talking to people, but people are asking me the same questions. Now, I don't know if these people in on Instagram don't know that I have a YouTube, don't follow me on YouTube or something, but I keep getting this question, what should I be eating? And I can't answer that for you. I don't know you from anybody. You know, I don't know who you are. I don't know your situation. I don't, I, I, I don't know is my answer, but I'm going to go over a few things in this video. Maybe it'll help you a little bit. I like to experiment on myself. That's kind of what this channel was originally started for. It was weight loss, experiment on myself, tell me kind of my journey that I was over 400 pounds at one point and getting down to a weight that I feel comfortable at. That was, you know, the, the idea behind this, this channel still kind of is, but I am gonna be starting to make uh, different videos here and there, and, and that, you know, here we are. So, but to answer this question, should you do starch? Should you a fruit only, starch only, no salt, salt, you know, condiments, no condiments, eat it, you know, plain, have one ingredient. I mean, I keep getting the same questions and the, here's, the, here's the simple answer is, I don't know for you, right? I don't know. Like I used to think it was one size fits all. Now, I am still of the opinion that everybody should be eating high carb, low fat, right? If you look at every animal, and I'm not, not saying we're comparable animals, you know, but I am saying that if you look at every other species on this planet, they eat one thing. Like you don't see lions like eating a watermelon and you don't see a, a squirrels like, you know, going after a deer and killing it and you know, like uh, like 30, uh, you know, squirrels eating this deer. There are circumstances where uh, a squirrel will kill other animals if it's in its territory. There are circumstances where a deer will kill another animal if it is in its territory that is a completely different thing. So it stands to reason that a human body, which like we may look different, but like internally we're all very similar, like extremely similar, would all eat the exact, exact same thing. So high carb, low fat, I think is the key, but what you should be eating, you're gonna have to try that out for yourself, especially with the salt. Some people, I know, like my grandfather, for example, that dude, could literally eat butter off a spoon. <laughs> like he would eat butter and he would have like, like he would pour salt on things before he even tasted it. And when he died and they did like, a, a, I guess they did an autopsy, they said that his heart was so healthy, his veins were so healthy, that's the only reason he lived as long as he did. And then there's other people who have like smell salt and like they would start retaining water. Now, if you watch some of the videos um, with that Catherine Stewart that I've kind of highlighted in the, uh, a couple weeks ago, there is something to a body that has been malnourished for a really long time, doesn't absorb salt like a body that has been nourished properly, especially magnesium. And ma there's like a couple of different kinds of magnesium in real salt. Now, if you get table salt, that's just so sodium chloride, chloride, which really isn't that good for you. And then a lot of people will ask me about Durian Rider, like, you know, Durian Rider even swung on the salt thing. He used to be so against salt. And then at some point, I, I even asked him about this in an interview that I did with him about salt. It, you know, should you have salt or not? And he completely changed his tune from like, you shouldn't have it to he saw a huge benefit with adding salt in. That is another one that you're gonna have to play around with. The best way to do it is to monitor how much you're having. You know, that can be a little difficult, but here's the thing. Here is my number one suggestion, however many minutes into this. I would, if I were everybody, and this is basically what I do, I would just pick a menu of like a few things or even just the exact same things. Like in the morning you have bananas and maybe, or like I have a watermelon and a bananas, and that's kind of what I've been doing and then whatever seasonal fruit, and then I'll make a smoothie with the bananas and the fruit, and then at night I'll have some kind of starch. Now, it hasn't mattered lately what starch I eat. It's all been digesting pretty fine, right? So, I don't know, maybe the farther into, further into this that you get. The one thing I will say is I have not added any overt fat at all for the last three months. 
I think it's three months this coming set. No, it was actually three months. Gosh, it's actually been three months uh, already. It's like three months in a week <clears throat> that I took out overt fat. So you might want to try that out. Not my, 100% want to try that out. If you're having issues with it, 100%, you've got to do it. It's got to be very consistent. You've got to really make sure that you are cutting it out and not having it. Otherwise, it's just not going to work, especially for those who have insulin issues. Here's another thing. If you do think you have insulin issues, fruit is going to be the way to go because glucose needs insulin to be processed. Sucrose and fructose do not need insulin to be processed, so you're not going to have as much issue with insulin resistance. That's another thing. So you're going to have to try this out. I can't answer this question for you. Uh, people keep asking me. I keep telling them. I used to think, you know, it didn't matter. I think eth ethnicity plays a role into this as well because you notice certain people can eat uh, however much rice they want to and they have no issue. Other people don't have that. So... I, I don't know, but you do, a lot of people who eat a lot of rice, they also have a lot of fat and sodium and sugar involved with it. And those are all going to help you digest. I don't know about the fat, but the sodium and, or the salt and the sugar are going to help you digest the rice. So again, play around with this, see how, you know, see how you deal with it. Be consistent for like a month, see really how it goes. Eat the exact same thing every day. I don't care if it's boring you know, and see how that goes. You know, I can't, I can't answer this question for everybody just because, you know, I, I don't know the answer. Like for me, the further into this that I've gotten, the more I can just eat whatever starch I feel like. Another thing is the starch that you may want to try. This time of year, it's not as easy to find, but like squash is a really good one if you can find it. Like I, I live in a city, so I don't have a hard time finding. But if you live out in a rural area, you might not be able to find squash this time of year. I don't know, play around with it, but I would just, what do you like to eat? Eat that exact same thing, at least for a week. At least try for a week, every day. Doesn't matter. Eat the exact same thing. Make sure you have enough for the entire week. See how that goes. Simpler the better. Less, you know, condiments, whatever. But if you're gonna do condiments, only do the exact same ones. So if you like ketchup and barbecue sauce, that's the only two that you can do. And continue that on for at least a week, two weeks, see how it goes. The longer I have been consistent with just doing this, the better it has been. I don't know what my weight loss is at this point. I probably will do it next week or something like, I gotta see, I want to do it every four weeks, so I got to see the last update video that I did. I, I'll see when I made that, and then I will make another one, uh, you know, four weeks from when I made that one. Anyway, that is my answer to this question. I, like, like specifically lately, like, I, I don't know, there's so many people asking me the same question. I, I actually thought I would get this question more at the beginning of the year, but I'm getting it in the middle of the year. You're really gonna have to play around with it on your own, you know, in, in, with your within your own realm because you know that I think is uh, is a little bit different. Some people, you know, like pasta, and uh, I don't know. I you can name all the different starches, but try it out for yourself and be consistent. And that is, I probably have to make this again. I, I, I the only thing that I can think is happening is people. Who watch my YouTube don't go on my Instagram, but people who are on my Instagram don't go on my YouTube. That's the only thing I can think because I've I've answered this question quite a few times. That's my answer. Anyway, talk to you in the next one. Oh, comments, questions, you know, maybe down in the comment section, uh, if you do have good digestion, let people know what you eat. That might help. I don't know. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. Oh, wasting hours on my phone. Ready to go now